Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project bus resolution system and I have developed this project in Python and Django. The version for the Python I am using is the Python version 3 and the Django version is 2 and uh, MySQL version is uh, 5.6. For connecting the MySQL with Python and Django I am using the MySQL Python connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website. Also. This is a web application, that's why I am using the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Also some of the JPEG library like uh, creating drop down menus, uh, form validations and the date plugin integrations. I am using the jQuery plugin, right? So this is all over the technology which uh, I am using uh, to develop this project, right? So let's start with the functionality go through. So the project header is bus reservation system and uh, this is a mini project developed in python django and mysql you can tell it mini dbms python project right so let's start so this is the home page of the project you can see this is a simple and uh, sore home page very simple home page this is about project right and uh, if you want to change the content then you can change directly from the html panel this is a search from where you will be able to search the bus right so i'm searching it here like uh, delhi uh, date any date which you want to search right so there's only one bus belongs to that route right if you want to search another right so you can search it also <coughs> okay so like uh, I think wait, there is no bus, so I, I am going to search book that bus only, right? Search. So once you click on the book now, then uh, you need to add the passenger here, right? So I am adding the passenger, question, age, what the age, right? And gender male female once you click on that then that passenger will be added successfully and the second passenger and you can see the fare is calculating automatically right then passenger is suppose 15 right once you click on the book ticket then it will ask for your credit card details and that amount uh, that uh, ticket will be booked so you need to enter any garbage value here there is no need to enter the valid credit card details right the cv number and the expiry month here and make payment once you make payment then you will be able to get the booking details and your booking details is six right so this is the history right so this is a login page from where you will be able to log in this is a registration from where you will be able to register right and contact us page right so this is a static contact us page i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even i am not sending a type of email and sms from this page right so i am logging so the user id is customer sorry customer and test so this is the dashboard this is a customer dashboard where customer can see uh, what the functionality he can perform right so this is a dashboard so this is the first page this is a search i already explained you this page right this is a my booking section section where he will be able to uh, see all of the bookings which has been made by the customer right you can see this is the details you can see this is the details right <coughs> view ticket and this is my booking section and the, there is a change password from where customer will be able to update his account password and uh, after updating his password he will be able to log inside the system with this updated password and the logout functionality so once you log out then above administration menu will not be displayed because this is a session driven and none of the other user will be able to access the internal pages because session will not be set right let me show you if i log out then you can see the above menu has been changed because customer has not logged in but if you log inside the system 
then you can see the above menu is coming right so there is a logout so <laughs> this functionality i have developed in this project the bus reservation system and as i told you earlier this is a mini project which has been developed in python django and mysql and if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comments i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much